it's a rainy day here in New York. In fact, I'm going to pop up the umbrella. Right now, I'm in front of the U.S. Custom House, which is the National Museum of the American Indian. And I thought we're downtown. It's a rainy day. Let's just take a look around. The museum right now is closed temporarily, but it's a beautiful building. Gorgeous. A lot to look at when you see it. That's the museum entrance. And this entrance is to the bankruptcy court. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was, the architect was Cass Gilbert. And the only reason I know about Cass Gilbert is because um, while living in Minnesota, I learned a lot about him from the Historical Society in White Bear Lake. Because he was from that area. But he became well renowned for his designs and architecture. So I think that's kind of cool. This is by the Bowling Green subway station. I'm holding on to my umbrella, so I don't lose it. But we're gonna walk into the park over here. Little city park here, Bowling Green. And the tulips in here are amazing. This park was put in here at 1771. That's wild, look at that. Do you see how vibrant they are? Crazy. Joe is actually with me, but he is parking the car. So, I thought I'd give you guys a little spin. Look at these tulips, they're so big. Oh my God, the brightness. I'm gonna actually drop that so you guys can hear me a little better. I'm by myself. But the fountain isn't on. But look at these, oh my gosh. As I mentioned before a million times, tulips are some of my favorite flowers, if not my favorite flower. And the abundance of these is just to me and the color is stunning. Right. It's just a little bit of a rainy day. It's so foggy out, like you can't barely, I can barely see the Statue of Liberty in the distance. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Now, I'm gonna do a, take a walk up here and show you guys the bull. Oh, little Mr. Pigeons need to move. Don't fly at me, please. Oh, look at this sign. 
talks about the peregrine falcons of New York City. We do have falcons that will nest up at the top of the buildings. Rather well known. They actually have like a falcon cam set out for them. In front of us, you guys can see it's the Wall Street Bull. I don't know why, but everybody loves to take a picture with the back end of the bull. <laughs> They all want to touch the walls. <laughs> you don't get it. It's a little ridiculous to me. There we go. We're off, guys. I get to say goodbye to Staten Island. Bye, Staten Island. As we head out across so that we can get to Manhattan. Wait, which side is the... We have to go on the other side. I think we should do that. What bridge is that, Verrazano? In the distance, you guys can see the Verrazano Bridge. I love the sound of the horns and the fog. Mm -hmm. It is. There's the ferry terminal. We're gonna walk across. Show you guys that side. These are a little different than the last one we were just on in our live stream. Excuse me. There's a lot of people on this side because you know why. More people on this side, and the reason why is because this is the side you get to see the Statue of Liberty. We're going to take a seat right here, just so you guys can see. It's insanely foggy today. Yeah, you can see that one is enclosed. So you can't be on the decks like this one is. Everybody wave. They do move really fast. Very very good clip. And it's gone. Zigzags doesn't go straight. Let me see. You say he zigzag? Yeah, you can see our tail. Like it goes zoo, the wake. But look at how foggy it is, everyone. Like wooga. Look 
you guys can see the Carter's Island. summer yeah. it's one of our favorite spots to go to and that's their ferry terminal when you come in that's where you come in at much smaller ferry than the Staten Island ferry it only has to go there. I know it literally just has to cross from there to here <laughs> it's super close but a lot of um, art installations, performances, things like that happen over here. It's a park, people picnic, people hike, wander kind of thing. Very cool. over here you can see Brooklyn Bridge we are going into the far slip I think I'm gonna back up so that I don't get like too much I know I love it. It's like that's the old school. Like you, got, you have two ferry terminals next to each other. This is the one for Governor's Island. And this is the Staten Island Ferry one. Architecture style is completely different. One's steel and glass and the other one is very like old world, European. I'm driving the boat. <laughs> Woo, he's he's crew. He knows what he's doing. Otherwise, look at this. That's the engines pushing it so we don't hit everything. He's putting on the brakes. We hit the side. <laughs> we actually hit the side. There we go. Now these two big things, they're gonna lower, and those are our docking things. You can see there's a man up in the very top box, right here. He's manning that, and he'll drop those. Because you don't exit on the bottom, you exit on the top. Okay, 
there they go. He's lowering them. Now, on, during the live stream I did, we couldn't stand out out here to do this. This boat, since it's an open air one, we were able to. Okay, there we go. It's pretty cool. And we're now free. Ready to go. And there's our gangway operator. Big thumbs up to him. Did a good job. And now we are back in Manhattan. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell thingy so you don't miss anything new. See you around.